Welcome back to our channel. We caught a squirrel. So, we have a raccoon problem. <laughs> And this little guy decided that he wanted to go in. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we put the marshmallow in there. They eat the marshmallow. And I don't want to be wild. Yeah. I gotta get it out. Go away. Get we it. have go to away. let him go. He's getting back so I can let him go. All you need to do is to uh, go on that side and then it will slide up and it will open. They like the marshmallow, huh? So that's who's been going in there eating the marshmallows but not getting caught. Yeah. Except for the one in the back now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. It's a squirrel. <coughs> oh, he's trying to uh, bite the screen or yung ano yung cage. Ninangat ngat niya ba? Kala niya pag ngat ngatin niya ma ano bubukas. Yeah, there are the squirrel here around the yard and they live in this tree, on that tree. Here, we're gonna entice them with peanuts. Oh, oh yeah, they love peanuts too, so. He's trying to get out now. See that marshmallow? There you go, he ate it. No, he doesn't want it now. He's got a peanut in there. He's just trying to get out now. He's trying to bite the cage yeah, so he no. can't so he can't get out. Hi. No. He's scared on it. Yeah. I I'm yeah, you can see their claws. When he figures it out, right there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see their claws, they're kinda sharp too, so they can uh scratch you. So yeah. Nagay namin yung marshmallow dyan. <laughs> this trap is for raccoons, but no wonder why hindi kami makahuli because some squirrel eat it, not the raccoons. We have one over here. Yeah, we have over one here. And nagay namin dyan. So here. if let's put the peanuts over here, huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll feed them over here. They like the peanuts. If nakahuli kami ng raccoon, hindi namin siya pinapatay. We let it go in the wild, kasi bawal, bawal patayin yung raccoons or any animals dito. Illegal sa kanya. Yan oh. They love the marshmallow. The raccoons like the marshmallow. Yeah, the raccoons love marshmallow. The squirrel here loves everything. Here, let's put the peanuts in there. Let's put the peanuts. We'll, we'll feed the squirrels over here. Alright. Let's put the squirrel food over here. We, yeah. tried to, we tried to feed them sometimes, but they are scared. So we'll put them over here so we can watch them in the yard. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I will check my plants in there. So 
So, ito ay hibiscus plant in English. Sa atin sa Pilipinas is gomamela. Binigay sa akin ng mother-in-law ko to. Ayan. So, after winter, they will grow bigger than that. And they will have big flowers on it. But for now, I have to transfer it on the ground so they can grow more later. Kasi pag nag-snow na, mamamatay yan sila muna. Tapos babalik sila. Yan, bigay sa akin yan ng mother and ko. And yung sa kapitbahay ko, may mga sunflowers sila. Pero, season is over already kasi mag, malapit na yung mag-snow. Tapos dito, ito, gagawin ko tong uh, parang flower pot. Pupunuin ko yan ng maliliit na flower. Yung katulad dito sa neighbors. Sa neighbors ko. Dito ko. Katulad niyan, o, oh, yung sa kanya. Yung doon, yung kulay pink doon. Yan. Kasi maganda yan siya titignan. Yan. Ayan, ito, may garden din sila dito. May tomato, may, meron silang okra doon, o. Oh, ang, ang lalaki ng okra nila. Hala, ayan, o. Oh, ang lalaki. Ayan. Tapos, meron silang iba't ibang gulay dyan. Last time, binigyan kami nila ng lettuce. Ito, meron silang tomato cherry. At meron silang malalaking tomato din dyan, o. Oh. Ayan, o. Oh. Ayan. At, kami naman, nagtanim kami ng bell pepper. Binigay sa akin ng mother in ko. So, ito, o. Oh. Yun nga, ilalagay ko yung flowers dito. Yung pupunuin ko siya ng flowers kasi gaganda yan pag pinuno mo ng flowers. Tapos dito, bubungkalin namin yan after ng winter days or winter season. Lalagyan. Lalagyan ko din ng mga flowers dito. Yan. Pupunuin namin dito yung side ng flowers. Kasi ito yung gilid ng garage namin. So, eto bell pepper kulay green siya binigay din to sa akin ng mother-in-law ko so nilipat namin siya sa ground maliit lang siya nung binigay sa amin ngayon ganito na siya kalaki oh naka-harvest na rin kami ng mga sampung peraso dito and meron na namang ah uh, palabas na mga bulaklak niyan oh diyan magsisimula yung pag-grow nila, or paglaki ng bell pepper. Ayan. Sana, mag, ah, uh, lumaki na sila before winter, kasi mamamatay to. Hindi na to babalik pag namatay na. Ayan, parang ganyan. Sana mag-ganyan na sila before winter. Tapos, ganito kalaki. Mas lalaki pa to, so, hindi ko muna siya pipitasin. Ayan, mga ganyan. Ito. Ang dami. Sana umabot. Kasi, ayan o. Oh. Ayan. Kasi, sabi, magiging early yung winter namin. So, ito damo lang to eh. Hindi na na, ano, hindi na na mow. Ayan, ba diba? Masarap magtanim para may kukunin ka lang, may aanihin ka lang kahit nasa yard mo lang. Ayan. So, pupuntahan natin yung mga tanim ko pa sa harap. So, eto, uh, violet flowers, nandyan na yan, nung nakuha ng husband ko yung bahay na to. Ayan. Ganyan siya, oh. Ganyan yung itsura niya. 
mukhang matatapos na rin yung season na ito kasi namamatay sila pag winter ito, namamatay sila tapos babalik din sila uli in springtime or summertime ayan maganda yan sila kapag tipon tipon sa harap doon marami so, ito yung neighborhood namin ayan, puro brick house po yan Yan, lahat po yan sila brick. Yung tisa sa amin, tawag sa batong yun, tisa. Yan, sa English brick house. Or sa atin, sa mga ilonggang katulad ko, tisa na bahay yung tawag dyan. Pero ito, sa English brick house, ayan, hanggang dulo po. At tapos hanggang di dyan sa gani ditong part puro brick house po yan yan so eto more violet flowers dito sa harap namin sa front yard namin ay nasira kasi malakas yung hangin kagabi yan o oh. i only got this at dollar store for one dollar. One dollar is equals to 50 pesos. Dito one dollar, parang mura lang sa kanila. Pero pag i-convert mo sa pera natin sa Pinas, 50 pesos sa ganito, parang ma mamamahalan ka na. Kasi parang press wood lang siya, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya hard. Yan. Ito, more flowers in the front. Violet flowers. Ayan. Ayan. Maganda siya actually. Pero this year, sabi ng husband ko last year, maganda siya. Pero this year, hindi siya masyado namin na linisan. Kaya yung mga damo-damo, sumali dyan sa mga bulaklak. Kaya ayan. And we also have marigolds plant here. My husband planted and he thought it's not a successful one because yung pagkakita namin nung tumubo siya is mali maliit lang na three yung tumubo tapos there's one flowers only so we thought that's it but it growed more ayan there you go lumaki siya <laughs> nag spread yung mga branches niya oh, ayan Marigold, sabi nila, nagpapa-attract ng mga mosquito yan. So, people plan it para kung madaming mosquito sa iyong yard, dyan sila pupunta, na-attract sila sa ganyan. That's what they said here. Yan. Lumaki siya, promise. Nung una, maliit lang talaga siya, tapos na isang bulaklak lang siya. We never thought that it will grow like this. We put, my husband put like the whole sachet in there. Or the whole pack of marigold in there. So, there's more violet plant. Mamamatay na sila. Kinakain ng bugs yung, ano, yung leaves. Yeah, and more flowers under our red maple tree. Yes, kulay red yung maple tree namin. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, kulay red, kulay red po yan. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos, itong punong to, sa, maybe next month na ata, or... December, I don't know, maybe yan, uh, next month mag-change color na yan sila, yan nag unti-unti na nag yellow na, si na yung leaves kasi pag fall season dito lahat ng puno nag-change uh, color tulad nun doon nagkukulay green, ay nagkukulay red na yung sa kanila yan yun doon Tapos, pag winter, 
makakalbo na sila. Pero yung sa amin talaga, red na talaga yan siya. So, eto, more flowers na binigay sa akin ng mother-in-law ko. Magnolia ata to yung tawag nila, magnolia plant. Maganda to kasi, ayan, yung mga buds niya, madami na. Madami-dami na yung mga buds niya. So, pag bumuka na sila lahat, it will be pretty. Ayan, kulay yellow po siya. Ayan. Ayan, puro pabuka na po yung mga, pabuka. <laughs> pabuka na po yung mga, ano niya, yung mga bulaklak niya before winter. So, we transferred it also in the ground. Kasi kailangan niya ng kailangan niyang masettle sa ground. So, yung plano namin, ipapalibutan namin ng ganyan. Yung ganito. Same na ganyan. Papalibutan namin dyan. So, maybe tatanggalin namin tong mga plants na to. So, here are our bushes. This coming November, kailangan na namin i-trim. Kasi, you only trim it once a year para mas kumapal yung mga ano niya dyan yung mga ganito niya mga branches niya dyan ayan bushes ayan May... hi mr. frog eto ano to may ikot ikot to pag malakas yung hangin eto yung eto yung uh, ano ba tawag doon nakalimutan ko na <laughs> yung parang windmill namin maliit lang siya so pag mabilis yung ikot niya doon namin ma kikita na malakas yung hangin sa labas ayan so so ayun na nga guys ah uh, I did a little tour in our yard, sana, and I hope you like the video. So, ayun na nga guys, uh, we will see you in our next video. And gusto ko pala magpasalamat sa mga nagsusubscribe sa aking channel and the time that you gave to watch our video. Thank you, thank you so much. Setting sun approaches for